Hello and welcome back to another legendary chess puzzle. This one is from 1911 and in this position we are to play as white and we need to win this uh, brilliant chess endgame. Now this will be really difficult. As you can see, black has this pawn and this pawn is ready to promote and on first glance it looks like there is nothing we can do here. Black will simply, prom simply promote and he will win us with his queen. But there is a way to stop this, uh, this promotion and there is a way to win this game. Not to stop the promotion, of course, but there is a way to win this game. And if you wish, you can pause the video and try and find the solution for yourself. And if not, of course, I will show you the solution in just a few seconds. So the way we can deal and approach this chess puzzle is simply a look at our pieces and what can we do. The first thing we can notice is that this black king is kind of on, on an awkward spot and we can maybe try and corner this king and maybe give a checkmate. So one of the ideas could be that king goes on h3, but unfortunately this won't work because after b1 and promotion of a queen after we give this brilliant bishop e8 check king can safely go to h6 and then go to g7 because knight to f5 is no longer a threat simply this queen will pick up our knight so this is not working for us we have to fi find another way to uh, corner this king and the first way to do this is bishop e8 which is the first move in order to solve this amazing chess puzzle and uh, now this king cannot go on h6 because knight to f5 is a checkmate since this square is uh, this queen is no longer here so we can give this checkmate so after bishop e8 the king goes on h4 which is pretty much forced now we need to find another way to force this king on an awkward square and as you can see this king cannot go back so now it is time to use our knight and give this knight to g2 check King cannot go back, King can only go on g4, which is forced, and now it is the critical part of this chess puzzle. We have to find a winning move, which is a really difficult move. Uh, if you like, you can pause the video again and try and find the winning move here for white. Uh, it's really difficult, and I will show you if you found bishop to a4. Congratulations, you really are an amazing chess player. Now, with this move, the best continuation here for a black is to simply promote to a queen. Black can avoid the promotion, for example, and play king f5, but then after bishop c2 and king to e6, uh, this will be a simply easy victory for us. We continue the promotion of this pawn. This is protected and black is simply losing. So after bishop to a4, the best try for black is to actually push this pawn and promote to a queen. But then we have another amazing move. Now, it's not knight to e3 check. It's not bishop to d7 check. It is a brilliant bishop d1 check. Of course, if black takes, we will simply give this brilliant check and we will win his queen and then we will win the game. So after bishop d1 check, where can black king go? There is not many squares he can go. The only remaining square is to go on f5. And now again, we have to be careful. We don't want to give knight to e3 check because this will give this king an escape route and this king will be safe with this queen on the board. So we need to find another brilliant way to win this endgame and this is a bishop to c2, a brilliant skewer tactic. We give this check, this force this queen to takes our bishop and then after knight to e3 check, king can go on e6, we can pick up this queen and already we are winning this endgame. Now we have to only be slightly precise now after king to d6 for example trying to stop this pawn we can continue by playing knight to e3 and now black has to make a decision what we, he will chase will he chase this pawn or another pawn he can play king to c6 for example to be flexible but after knight to c6 knight picks up on c4 pardon me king goes on b5 we simply are not threatened by black picking up this knight because he will no longer be able to stop this pawn we can continue with king to g3 and slowly trying to pick up these pawns and that is how we win this endgame and this was all I prepared for you today guys if you enjoyed this video please make sure to leave a comment like and share this video with other people who enjoy chess if you enjoy chess puzzles there will be more on my chess channel and do let me know if you managed to solve this chess puzzle this wasn't easy at all as you see another way of using your pieces and board geometry to your advantage really difficult but I really hope you enjoyed solving it and we will see each other on the next one thank you so much for watching and have a nice day bye bye